Ain't the old kid kid himself. Hey, you going to a wedding or coming from a funeral? Wherever I go, I got clothes in my back and money in my pocket. Yeah, we know where you get the dough, too. It ain't from lugging furniture around for a couple of nickels. Uh, so what? Better than what you're doing. What'd you do, graduate the push, snatcher? Go ahead, get funny. But I'm offering you guys a real opportunity. A chance to work for a big shot who pays off in some real dough. We're not interested in your propositions. Yeah, why don't you make a transcription? You can be dumb, but don't get wise, see? Cheap imitation. You better be on your way before we call the exterminator. Get out of here. Anything wrong, Mugsby? Nothing I can't take care of. You know, I always worry when I find a cheap crook like you on my beat. What are you trying to do, mess these kids up? For a cookie, I'd run you in. You ain't got nothing on me, brass button. That's right. But one of these days, you're going to dirty yourself up. You and that sticky-fingered boss of yours, McGaffey. I'll give McGaffey your regards. So long, lame brains. So long, two cents. Another proposition, Mugby? No, he just blew a gasket. That boy needs an overhauling. All right. If you ever need any help, just yell. Go ahead and rip those spikes on his arm. Sure look good, don't you? What happened to Scruno? He must have run off on us. All right, let's move that tie van in. Hey, what's up with that plane? Yeah, come on. Nice. We got him, Dad. Scruno, what do you think you're getting paid for? I get paid? Well, ain't you got no imagination? Come on, move that stuff. Oh, boys, it is certainly nice of you to help me move. I'm sure Glimpy will pay you back somehow. Oh, that's all right. We're glad to be obligated to you. Well, you can come around next month and help me move again. Oh, are we going to beat the rent next month? Yeah. Well, we better get that cart back before they start charging us overtime on it. A couple of you fellas come with me to rescue you move that stuff upstairs. Yeah, go ahead, kids. And it's for you. Come on, move the stuff upstairs. What for? I move it in and the sheriff moves it out. You heard me. Move it upstairs. Oh. 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 Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Watch that red light up there. Well, I don't about that Eastside kid? You're the guy that promised me you could get him for a nickel a head. I got him weakening, but it ain't gonna be easy. It ain't gonna be easy. But the job I got for him is a perfect center for him. I need him. If you can't get him, I will. It'll be awful tough, boss. But when I make up my mind to something, it's done.
Have this rail fixed. Ready to go and change your costume. What happened? Nothing. Hey, boss, how about those don't account, huh? On account of what? Well, uh, I'm a little short this week. Didn't I pay you last week? Yeah, but I had to spread that dough over. All right, all right, all right. I think I wasn't on a level where you thought, boss. Will you shut up? Who ain't satisfied with my cut from the last job? Say, why don't you be a good fellow and go on home? No one's holding out on you. Get in that closet, the three of you. Go on, move. Get inside, I said. Get that lug. Wait a minute. Cool off. I'll take care of this in my own way. Hey, uh, Mike, address his hand. Nothing never happens anymore. You know, life is getting very condescending. Yeah, how about that guy getting a dime over time? Oh, oh Jacob's always wants that. He wants to get rich. Yeah. You're going to do it a dime, buy a cup of coffee and some bagels? Bagels? What's that? That's yeah, stone of sitting cement. Oh. What are you doing here? They told me to pick up a rug and beat us, so I did. Hey, get a load of that Brooklyn Bridge. It sure looks good, don't it? Yeah, uh, yeah. That's an architectural masterpiece. Anybody can build a bridge over water. I'd like to see some guy build one under. You know, I'm getting thirsty. It's funny water in back of you. Yeah, but that's aquid water. Let's go to Barney's and get some pop. You got any money? I ain't got no money, but we'll trust them for it. I don't Stop think I got after this. Here you are, Grandpa. Is it sweet enough? He's feeding that old guy again, huh? All he does is eat. Come on, get packed up. We're leaving here. Leaving? Where to? Never mind where. Get your things together in a hurry. But what about Skipper? He'll be put on or leave. He'll be all right. Well, we can't leave him here all alone. I said pack up. Get going. Not without Grandpa. I'm staying. Why, you little brat. I'll teach you to talk back to me. Now get back. Sylvia! Back there! Back here, I tell you! One of these days, I'm going to buy a farm and settle down. Will you have an oh, apple I said you were going with me. No, Get in here. Now I've seen everything. They've been married. For two cents, I'd like to take a poke at that guy. Say, maybe we ought to call cops. Every time we call the cops, we get blamed. <whistles> well, what are we waiting for? I need you to run out on me. Kids want around here. Why don't you pick out a few guys your own size? Yeah, like us. Fire, fire, fire. Kill him. Come on, stay here. Let me out.
Nice going, Muggs. You got him. Hey, where'd that girl go? Hey there, Pop. You know where that girl went? Come on, come on. We ain't asking no military secrets. We just want to know where the girl went. She must be paralyzed. Your guess is good as mine. Hey, this place ain't so healthy. You better no. get out. Well? He won't be beating nobody for a while. in to collect a little money you borrowed from us. Why, why, sure, sure, I have it. There it is. Let's see. You must have gone outside. There she goes, Muggs, heading for the river. Hey, what is he doing down there? Maybe she's going to put her toes in a drink. We better get it. There's a couple of questions I want to ask her. Sure it's all here? Sure it's all there, every bit of it. <laughs> What's that for? Just a little whip that's gonna come in handy. Well, let's go. What do you got in your mind? Does it make any difference? You crazy kid, you shouldn't be thinking of things like that. I can't go back there. It's your home, ain't it? Hey, who was that guy beating you up? My stepfather. What was he doing that for? He wanted me to go away with him, but I wouldn't do it. Ah, uh, free country. You don't have to go away with nobody unless you want to. What's your name? Sylvia. Who was that old guy in a wheelchair? It was my grandfather. He's paralyzed. Yeah, so we noticed. Hey, Muggs, why not just turn this whole thing over to the police? It's a sense she can't stay here. Maybe we'd better take her to Glimpy's house. Take her to my house, take her to my house. Why not take her to your house? Because the food's better at your house, young moron. We should go away and leave me alone. Oh, I... I'm sorry, I... See, I got an idea. Let's take him over to the club. Yeah. How would you like that? You'd like to come over to the club, huh? I don't know. Oh, we'll take good care of you. We'll watch out for you for a while. Come on. Why don't you? He's a nice kid. Why don't you? Be, you. Be, I'm a dandy and I'm mud. You got any other clothes besides that thing you got on? Oh, a few. Hey, Bruno, run back to that place and get her clothes. Not me. I don't want no more to do with that man. Chief? Not you. Danny, go ahead and watch yourself. Okay, I'll get the club. We found Sylvia. I came back to get her clothes.
Wait a minute now. Where are you going? I, I, I was just doing an errand for a girl. For a girl, eh? What girl? Upstairs. Upstairs? Yeah. Well, we'll just drop up and see her. What's the matter? Don't you believe me? Oh, yes. What makes you think you can make a kid fall in line with this? Say, do I have to draw diagrams for you? The cops are going to be looking for the guy to knock Molly off, aren't they? The kid thinks he did it. When I show him this gimmick with the fingerprints on it, I think he'll fall in line. You don't miss a trick, do you? Yeah, how's that job come along? The timing's all set. There's only a night watchman and the guards. And all we gotta do is slip down into the transom and switch off the alarm. Good. I beg your pardon, sir. You know anything about this young man? He said he was doing a nerve. He can't help you. Paralyzed. Can't talk. Oh, I see. I don't know why you don't believe me. I've been telling you the truth. So you were doing an errand for a girl, eh? How'd he get in here? Oh, you know him, eh? No. No, I didn't have nothing to do with this. Come on, take a walk with me. Hey, wait a minute. Come on. I didn't have nothing to do. Hey, Mark, what about that rule about no girl? I revoked my decision. That rule has been retrieved for the temporary time. And I got nothing to say. When you learn to talk, we'll let you say something. Hey, what's the idea? Let's have a little attention. The ladies in the jam. Sylvia, meet Stash and Skinny. Yeah, Stash and Skinny meet Sylvia. Oh, yeah. Oh. You can go back and take some notes on this meeting. Okay. Don't mind these ruffians. They're a little antagonistic towards feminine girls. Hey, uh, hey, where's Danny? He went back to get the rest of her clothes. You mean she's gonna stay here? What do you want me to do? Get her a suit of rooms at a hotel? I know, but you made the rules yourself that girl. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm the president of this club, and I'm doing the vetoing and voting. Take a note of that, Glimpy. Yeah. First of all, I think we better disguise her as a boy. Hey, Skinny, go up to your place and get her something to wear. Right. Yeah, but that won't make her a boy. She's still a girl. That's a phenomenal deduction. Hey, Glimpy, you got a note on that? Mm-hmm. Just make yourself at home, will you? What do you do? Make those notes in shorthand? You do it awful fast. So, you've been drawing pictures all these years. Give me that book. Cut out, will you? Want to make me silly? I never interfere with nature. Well, I'm sorry, uh... The loud burst. Say, uh, maybe you'd like something to eat, huh? I'm not hungry. Well, if you don't know how long your lad will have to be here. Say, uh, Flippy. What? Get out and get her something to eat, will you? Get out of here. We aren't tired after all that fight. Since when do you get tired from shadow boxing? Get up and get us something to eat. Where are you going with that hat? I'm going to hire a couple of friends. You must be pretty tired after everything you went through and everything. Why don't you sit down? Sit down. Sit down there. Uh, would you like a glass of water? Well, uh, would you like, uh... How much is this letter? Fifteen cents a hat! What's the union label on these tomatoes? Tell me. What the union? They don't belong to the union. They belong to the farm. Seventeen cents a pound. Oh, war property, huh? No ceiling. What's the matter with the city? We are outside. We don't need no ceiling. The sky. Where'd you get that hat? You want to buy one? Around the corner. You know Max? Yep. What? Oh, publicizing a sweatshop, huh? Look at that hat. No stability. Look at it. What's uh, there? What's the matter with you? Listen, if you don't go, I throw you. I tell you, God, blind me. Go to jail for it. I tell you. Go. Yes, I tell you. Yes. Not a 
Jenny, I don't have to tell you that murder's a serious business. But I tell you, I didn't do it. Well, what about the girl? She didn't have anything to do with it either. Uh, possibly not, but I'd like to question her. Where is she? I don't know. Well, under the circumstances, I'll have to hold you. Clancy, take them away. Take these clothes with you. Jenny, take this old boy back to the tenement and hang around. You never can tell the girl might try to get in touch with him. And see that the place is covered at all times. Okay, Chief. Nothing gets by me. See that it doesn't. Is that soup hot? Gee, I wish I had some soup. Thank you. side kids. And they're all looking for the mouse who took care of old Bright Eyes. Is that the mugs they hold? Uh, no, Danny, you know, the kid whose brother's a copper. Say, this is working out better than I expected. I want you to drop over the kids, hang out, tell Muggs I want to see him, and don't come back here without him. I thought you said... Never that... mind what you thought. I'll get started. Okay, you got a point. How about a little bourbon on the house? Say, that's the best news I've heard today. Stash, the secret of it is this. You've got to just sandpaper this down so it'll be even, see? And then you've got to take it... Don't look now, but you've got the wrong tail assembly in that plane. You're kidding. No, I'm not kidding. You're supposed to have a retracting landing gear, too. Do you want to do it? Sure, okay. It's all yours. I quit. I resign. All right. Don't make no speeches. Another thing you forgot to tell them about the wheels. What wheels? The wheels under the plane. They're what supposed plane? To... Hey, Mark, you know you're getting illiterate. But he's trying to get out. Nice Look at that. Nice Look at that. 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 Okay, now, Paul. Come on, boys. Let's get a little a la carte service there. Bring that table over. Right. Hey, well, come on. Get the get plate and some tools over here so we can eat some dinner. Don't get forget to not... Have a seat here. Just I got a seat here. Better jump. I'll have a... Uh, hold this hat, will you? Yeah, have a tomato. You don't have to eat it now. Just, well, just uh, you know, be ready in case you're going to have a little salad here. Somebody at the door. Hey, Scrooner, go answer the door, will you? Okay. Drink the Good Yeah, I know. How about, boys, the cups for the soup? Where's the tools? Where's the implements? How are we going to eat with the napkin? Hi, Frost. All right, Frost. All right, Frost. Right. 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 What is this? Who's there, please? Yeah, good. Well, I talk to Muggs about something important. Well, this is his secretary speaking. I'll see if Mr. Muggs can be disturbed. He's in conference. Just a moment. Hey, have a little hunk of soup. Hey, Glippy, you can come out of that corner now. Just be good, that's all. Hey, Mom. Hey, hey Mom. Uh, what's the matter? That, that guy's scared. He wants to talk to you. Oh, I ain't got no time for him now. Hey, I'm listen, busy. Listen. I'm eating. I'm eating. You better talk to him. He says it's very important. Maybe sell him full of brushes. I'll go up and talk to him. All right, Glimpy. While I'm gone, you can serve his hostess. Ha! Huh. But don't forget, conserve me some of that food. Okay, put that. Give me that. Give oh, me that. that's mean. Oh, yeah. Hey, right, jump in me and my two. <laughs> Honey, this ain't no life for you. I'd like to take you away from all this. <coughs> There's something I follow you at the end of your just like a little pup. You're my lover. You want to talk to me, huh? Well, uncork it. McGaffey wants to see you. I told you before, I don't want to have nothing to do with McGaffey. You want to have something to do with him now. 
He wants to see you about a little accident. What accident? Oh, a little accident that Morley had. I don't know nothing about no accidents. I don't know nothing about Morley, see? Yeah, if he does. You know what's good for you, will come along. Yeah. Here, I'll come along. Just for last. I'll be back in about ten minutes. Gonna take a little walk with this termite. Lead the way, closed horse. You sent for me, Captain? Yes. I've got bad news for you. We're holding your kid brother for suspicion of murder. Murder? And we can't get him to talk. It's obvious he's trying to protect someone, maybe a girl. And the victim was the girl's stepfather. And Danny was seen running out of the tenement house with some of her clothes. I see. May I talk to him alone? Yes, he's in the detention office waiting for you. Thank you. Hello, Danny. Hi, Phil. I kind of thought you'd be coming in to see me. What's all this talk about you being involved in a murder? Those guys must be crazy with the heat. I never saw the guy before. The captain says you're trying to cover up for some girl. Who is she? I don't know what he's talking about. You know, Danny, I'm afraid you've been seeing too many movies lately. Cut out the action, give me the lowdown. There's nothing to give. Look, kid, let's sort of forget that I got on the uniform. I'm your brother, remember? I'm trying to help you. Oh, I know. You're the best brother a guy could ask for. Well, then why don't you open up? What's all the mystery about? Is it that gang you've been running around with? No. Leave them out of it. They didn't have anything to do with it. You're making it tough on me. If you were a couple of years younger, I'd take you across my knee and let you have it. You'd do a lot worse to me if I started blabbing. Nobody's asking you to blab. Danny, you're being held on suspicion of murder, even if we don't think you did it. All I want to know is how the girl fits into the picture. You're starting to talk just like a copper. All right, Danny. I thought you had some sense, but I see I was wrong. Maybe it's a good thing Mom died when she did. At least she won't be dragged into the mess. Try this? I think you're up here to play no games. Sit down, relax. What's this about an accident with Morley? You know, you're pretty smart, Muggs. Too smart for those kids you're hanging out with. I didn't come up here for no psychology treatment. What's the angle? How'd you like a nice sweet job and cut in on some easy money? How would you like to go take a nice jump in the lake? You know, the cops are holding Danny for the murder of Molly. What is this, a gag or something? That's on the level. The funny part of it is that he didn't do it. You seem to know a lot about it. I do. I happen to have the uh, club that someone used to bash in his head. I imagine the cops would certainly like to get their hands on it. What do you got up your sleeve? There's a warehouse on Bridge and Second with a load of silk. I'm listening. We got it cased. All we need is someone like you to drop in through the transom on the roof and let us in without turning on the alarm. That ought to be a cinch. What's there in it for me? We'll make you a present of a fistful of dough and a club. You know, the one the cops are after with the fingerprints on it. Sounds very interesting. When do I go to work? Right away. Go on down to the warehouse and let me know. Okay. Let me see you. Oh, uh, Muggs. That shouldn't take you uh, more than an hour. Getting kind of precise, ain't you? Pretty smart kid. 
think we can handle it. What's the matter, Sylvia? Cheer up, don't be so down hearted. That mug won't hit you no more. Hey, Spruno, come here. You ever seen a Daggio dance? I'll show you, I invented it. what just happened. What happened? The cops are holding Danny down at the police station for murder. For murder? Anybody we know? Yeah. It's Morley. The cops found him dead. That puts us in a pretty bad looking spot. It's all my fault. If it hadn't been for me, this wouldn't have happened. Oh, I wouldn't say that. We're all mixed up in this thing pretty deep. Hey, Muggs, don't you think we ought to go see Danny? Uh, keep your shirt on. It's just what I was gonna do. I guess I'd better go back home. Oh, no. The cops are probably looking for you right now. You hang around here and take it easy. And if you hear anybody nosing around, just hide down the roost there. We'll see you later. Don't worry, we'll get Danny out of the last thing we do. You're a girl. Do the fellas know you're here? They brought me here. They brought? Boy, they must have changed the rules a lot. See, I used to be a member of this club, a charter member. Um, my name's Butch. What's yours? Sylvia. Sylvia? Well, oh, that's kind of a pretty name. As a matter of fact, you're kind of pretty yourself. Oh, where's the fellas? Well, he went to the police station to see Danny. Danny? Oh, is he in trouble? Well, you see, the kids got into a fight with my stepfather, and later the cops saw him dead. They think Danny did it, but I'm sure he didn't. That sounds pretty serious. They ought to be back pretty soon. Well, I guess I might just as well wait for them right here. One thing, I'll do all the talking. That goes for you, too. I'd like to see one of the intimates here. A kid by the name of Danny Lyons. What do you want to see him about? Oh, about uh, five minutes. It'll take you more than five minutes to frame an alibi for him. We don't need no alibis for Danny. Besides, I read in a book once that you cats were supposed to have the, uh, the uh, lethal weapon before you convicted a murderer. Hey, you seem to know a lot about this case. Maybe I ought to hold you with Danny. Oh, you're prejudiced, huh? No, I ain't prejudiced, huh? You ain't got no evidence. Yeah, well, well, we got a playground for boys like you. Phil, I'm glad to see you. Hey, this fellow may be bigger than you, but you got more stripes than he has. How about getting us in to see Danny? Is it all right, Captain? It's all right. Go into that room and I'll have Danny sent in. Sergeant, send Danny lines up. Yes. Thanks, pal. Hey, this is a nice room. I think that fat guy got up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. Yeah. Quite. Hey, that's a nice picture of New York. Look at that skyline and everything. Hey, here's my house. 
No chance. Yeah. Let's see. Hey, Nancy, give him some flatbush. Come on. Come here. Yeah, it's your house, huh? Well, uh, see if you can find out what your mother's cooking. Hey! Hey! Look at Sit down, relax. The stick wouldn't be out of water, just when I want to use it. Oh, you know. Yeah, it's a nice... Indirect lighting, a reef from a neon sign across the street. Nice and pointish, too. Yeah, nice and smart of the scene. You know what I feel like singing? You better sit down, Bob. It's a whole camp. Hey, Danny, how are you? I know you like it. You look pretty good. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Should have left you all locked up in a club with Sylvia. Hey, how is she? How's she getting along? Does she know about Morley? Well, they come up here to see you about. I'm the one that clunked Morley. What are you taking a rap for? Never mind me. So long as you guys are on the outside, I'm not worried. They can't prove a thing. They can prove that man's dead, can't they? That reminds me. When that copper nabbed me and took me back to the apartment, Morley wasn't in the living room. He was in the kitchen. In the kitchen? What was he doing there? It's a cinch old bright eyes didn't move him. You know, a funny thing happened. McGaffey called me up to his place, and he's got the leg of the chair that I used on Morley. I wonder how he got that. This guy's talking for himself. He must have money in the bank. You see what you've done now? You broke up my concentrations. <laughs> Hello, Joe. This call up on is out of order. Nothing's coming through. <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to lose my temper with you. What did I say? I didn't say nothing. You never say nothing. You just open your mouth and noises come out. I say, Muggs, what's they eating on you? What's the matter with you? I told you I was working on an angle. When I'm ready, I'll let you fellas in on it. Okay, fellas, you've been visiting long enough. Come on, Danny. Uh, come on, Danny. Come on, Danny. Come on, Danny. Danny. You ready? Send your Take your post on, Danny. Know. Put some tools away. The car will be ready at night. Oh, Mark. What did Danny have to say? Oh, nothing special. We was just discussing the topical events of the day, you know, the war and everything. We're going to form a midget commando. You're kind of cute, ain't you? Thanks, Captain. Not you, funny face. You ain't no lily of the valley. Muggs, you might try working with us. We're working with you. We're going to solve the murder, and we'll let him take the credit. Hey, fellas. I'll see you at the club. I got a little job to do. Hey, I wonder what he's up to. Uh, come on, let's go back to the club and play old maid. Come on. Wait, wait, come on. Hey. Where is it? He didn't have any chocolate. Oh, this is fine. Life just as well. <laughs> uh, ice cream is one of my weaknesses. Let's hide. I want to surprise him, huh? Okay. Here. Ah, you cheat. I hate that. Sensational. Oh, hey, I'll bring some gallop and dominoes. Not with your dice. We'll use my dice. Oh, they're not only cooking. Hey, where's the girl? So we are. Hey, maybe the cops got her. Ah, she's down in the room. Come on, let's bring some gallop. Come on, open it up. Quick. Yeah. Hey, she isn't down there. Say, man, we should have left here all alone. If you guys would have listened to me, you wouldn't have brought her here in the first place. Hi, fellas. Boy, 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 Okay, okay. Hey, Sylvia, come on out. See? Hey, Sylvia, don't do that. William, my heart is bad. He was telling me about what happened. Might as well you fellas to stick up for her like this. Yeah? If you keep on looking at her that way, your eyes will pop out. <laughs> you know, they say a sailor's got a sweetheart in every port. He certainly ain't missing this one. Oh, cut it out now, fellas, will you? Can't you see you got her all embarrassed? Say, where's Mud? Oh, he's out following up a hunch. I wonder what her name is. 
<laughs> well, I'm going up and say hello to my mom. You tell Muggs I'll be back later. Okay. Oh, right. Go along. See you later. Take it easy. Well, I want to get me one of those. You like the best. Yeah, yeah. Made for. How do you know the kid won't double cross you? Not as long as that club is in the safe. Suppose he finds out he didn't kill me. Knock Billy. off. Another crack like that, I'll pin your ears back. I was only kidding, Mac. Seems to me a little worried about Muggs replacing you. That kid? Huh. He thinks a pineapple is something you eat. Just the same, he's pretty smart, and I can wise him up in no time. Come on in. Thanks. What's with him? Oh, don't worry about him. How'd you make out? It's pretty good. I had to sketch it a whole warehouse. Oh. The place is full of silk. All over. The best way to get in is through the side entrance. What's that? You sure nobody saw you? No, nobody saw me. Just three or four cops, a night watchman, and a couple of detectives. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> not funny, just subtle. Well, how about the payoff? That's not the deal, kid. But if you're short of dough, I'll give you some in advance. I don't mean that kind of money. I'm interested in wooden money. Huh? Oh, oh, the club. We'll take care of that, too. We still got the job to do first. What do you mean, we still got the job to do? Say, I thought I made that clear to you before. You have to drop through the transom and let us in tonight at 9 o'clock. So, you don't get the club until after I help you with the job, huh? Yeah. Well, uh, suppose you change your mind. Well, that's a nice way of putting it. But don't worry, I never double-crossed anybody in my life. Just the same, I'd like to see you burn that thing up. That's an idea. I'll tell you what we do. Right after the job tonight, we'll have a celebration and a bonfire. Uh, hey, hang around here, will you? Okay, we'll be back. Oh, Mark. This is the one place I never expected to find you. Well, I just like to keep circulating. It's good for my blood. Don't tell me you finally decided to do business with this McGaffey gang. Anytime I make any intimate decisions, I'll let you know by special delivery telegram. Collect. All right, Maxie, there's no use to get that way about it. I just don't want to see you get mixed up on a deal with the guy. I'm not going to get mixed up in any deals. Not as long as McGaffey's shuffling. I just dropped down to catch some of those new numbers on that jukebox. Your uh, visit wouldn't by any chance have anything to do with Danny being held on suspicion of murder. Suspicion of murder? <laughs> Danny wouldn't even hurt a fly, much less murder anybody. That's right. I know it and you know it. But unfortunately, that isn't enough. Well, I wouldn't lose any sleep about it. We'll have Danny out of that jug in no time. All right, Muggs. We're both on the same team. Well, that's fine. But don't forget, I'm doing the pitching. Pardon me, but have you got a reservation? This is not a pleasure visit, McGaffey. And of course, you must have a war. Wrong again. Or I should say, as usual. You know, for a guy whose brother might get the chair, it's pretty cocky. Mac, there ought to be a law against animals like you even talking to decent people. Just what do you want, Carver? I happen to see Muggs leaving the place. And McGaffey, I'm warning you. Lay off of the east side kids. They're good boys. They're not like those cheap gutter snipes that usually hang around you. Would you like to stay for the floor show that goes on in a few minutes? For you. Oh, uh, I'd like to see something in a lady's dress. Please. Oh, no, you you don't understand. I uh, just want to buy a dress. I see. Any special price? Well, no, just so it isn't too high. You see, she isn't my regular girl. Well, what size dress would she wear? Well, I, I don't know. She, she's wearing boys' clothes now. Something about my size? Well, oh, 
The, the beam's about the same, but... Uh, no, I think you're just a little taller. Say, uh, how about this navy blue one? I kind of like that. All right. If it's a little big, you can take in the slack in the uh, beam. Oh, thanks, Al. Hey, keep off this. This ain't your birthday. It will be pretty quick. Uh, I happened to be passing the store up on the street, and I saw this dress. I thought you might feel better in it than in those clothes. Oh. Hey, Butch, why don't you bring me a present? Well, I got one for you if you don't pipe down. Oh, just because you're a sergeant. Oh, it's lovely. You like it? I sure do. Uh, mm, sure looks scrumptious than that. Boy, well, that's good goods, too. I'm telling you, I know. My father's a tailor on the side. Right. Oh. Hey, if you don't want to, I'll give it to my mother, huh? Let me see how it looks on you. Good, good, oh, huh? keep your hands off, will you? Would you buy it? The Pascunia Cat Company or something the like room? that? Butch! Hiya, Mother. Hey, you're <laughs> looking swelling at you on the phone. What's new? Good to see you. You look just the same, old boy. Sure do. Hey, there. Uh, tell me you're in a little jam around here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but I'm doing some good detective work. We'll have it solved just like that. Hey, pardon me a minute, will you? Say, hey, Sylvia. Did you ever hear of a weasel by the name of McGaffey who runs the Bridge Cafe? Oh, yes. What do you know about him? Well, nothing, except that Morley used to work for him. Morley used to work for him? Yes. Oh, that fits in with all my mental retouching. Was he ever up the house? Well, I've never seen him there, but Skipper might have. You mean old Bright Eyes? That's no good. He can't talk. But he can talk. He can? Yes, with his eyes. Oh, he must talk lover's language, huh? How do you know about lover's language? Can you understand him? Why, sure, I'll go with you to see him if you want me to. Oh, no. You'll be safer down here. Why don't we bring him down here? Bring who down here? Bright eyes. You know, that's the first idea you've ever given me since I've known you. You had to tell what you was, you don't appreciate me. Sure I appreciate you, Glimpy. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make you vice president of miscellaneous stuff. Is that a commissioned officer? No, but you can work your way up. You mean I get all office just saying bring old bright eyes down here? That's right. But bringing them down here is not going to be as easy as it sounds. Say, Butch, will you do me a favor? Take care of Sylvia. We'll be back in a flash. With the flash? Just for that track, you'll lose your vice presidency. Uh, I knew it was too good to last. Oh, you're intelligent to speak to the Come here, I'm a bunch of records. No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, they're a great bunch of fellas. They sure are. Now, who is this skipper they're talking about? Oh, that's my grandfather. He used to be an old sea captain. Oh, a sailor, huh? <laughs> well, um, how about your dress? Wouldn't you like to put it on? Oh, go ahead. I'll, I'll wait in there. Just a minute, you kid. Oh, hey, Clancy, what's new? Well, where do you think you're going? Oh, we was just going out to pay our respects to old Bright Eyes. Yeah, maybe he's lonesome. We're going to read him a story. Yeah, Three Little Pigs. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Thanks for the courtesy. Thank you. A vote for you next year. Hiya, Bright Eyes. What's cooking? Oh, yeah. Oh, you'd like to drink of water, maybe, huh? Sure. Sure, I'll fix you up. Open the door, let me out of here! Open the door, I tell you! Sick man, take it easy. Give me your arm. Come on, give me your arm. Let go. Get that wheelbarrow out of here. Yeah, I'll tell him when he comes in, I'll leave the message. Come on, let's go, quick. Come on, open the door. Yeah, don't wait too hard. Come on, open that door. Let me out of here. Open that door, I tell you. Couple of you fellas, wheel that thing back through that door there, will you? Hey, Stash, you want Skinny to yeah. go get Clancy. Clancy, are you kidding? Don't ask no questions, just get Clancy. Right, right. come on. Hey, Clancy, Clancy, old Brad, I see upstairs. Hey, it's a bed. Yeah.
What are you doing in there? What do you think I'm doing? Waiting for a street car? You'll be pounding a beaten flatbush for this. Get out of the way. Come on, get it. And you say he was beating you and the boys broke into the room and stopped him? Yes, that's right. But I tell you, they didn't have anything to do with it. You said your little piece. The girl is answering the questions. Why did you come to us right away and report this? Because I didn't know he was dead. Well, I'm sorry, Sylvia, but I'll have to hold you for further questioning. All right, Mason. I advise you to tell the rest of the kids to drop around here and tell us all they know about this. They want to help us break this case. Yes, sir. Take it easy over this curse. All right. Grab that in. Come on, please. All right. Got it? All right, we'd like it down here. Now, watch it down those steps. Grab that wheel. Come on, come on. Hey, Foot, Sylvia. Hey, they must be hiding. Maybe they're alone. Oh, boy, romantic. Yeah, and we get cheated out of that wedding, kid. No matter what you're stupid guys, you got to get engaged before you get married. They're probably in our secret hiding place. I was supposed to be best man. What do you mean you were? I was going to be the best oh, man. Oh, bigger rise on you. Are you pencil? I was the best man. What are you giving hey, me? Hey, they're not there. Not there? No, I looked down at it. It's not in there. Here comes Bush now. What's the idea? Where's the guy? Oh, some cop come down here and lugged us both off to jail. They're holding Sylvia there now. Oh, it's nice. That complicates things fine. I think I'll go up and talk to those cops. What's the matter, Brad? Are you tired? Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This old guy's blinking out the Morse code. What's he saying? M, C, G, A, F, F, E, Y, K, I, L, L, E, D, M, O, R, L, E, Y. I guess he killed Morley. Well, that's what I thought all along, but I can't prove it. Well, let's take him over to the police station right away. No, that's no good. You've got to have exhibits and everything. Well, we can't just stand around here and not do nothing. Look, 9 o'clock tonight, I'm supposed to help McGaffey crack a silk warehouse at 2nd and Bridge. If that guy finds out you're giving him the double cross, he'll treat you awful rough. I ain't afraid of that lug. You wait till after dark and take bright eyes to the cops and tell them what I said. Get it? Yeah. Good. Scruno, you stay here and help Butch. Who do you do? Who? All right, the rest of you come with me. It was a lucky thing you came along. If it hadn't been for you, we wouldn't have found out nothing. You fellas all know what to do. Stash, take Rivington Street and hurry up. But, uh, you take Barrow Street. Make it snappy. Right, right. Hey, you get down canal. One mistake and I'll fracture your skull. Pardon me. But you admit Morley worked for you. I'm not denying it. One of the boys down at the cafe said you had a little trouble with Morley this morning. He did, huh? But well, what else did he say? We're asking the questions. Is that a question? Did you have an argument with Morley this morning? Let me see. This morning. I knocked a guy off a balcony to try to get fresh with a dancer. I helped an old lady across the street. I even read uh, how to make friend. No, I don't remember having an argument with Molly. And if I did, it wasn't much of an argument. You know, McGaffey, like most cheap racketeers, you're going to slip one of these days. And you won't be wisecracking when we crack down on you. Thanks for telling me. Well, is there any more questions, Captain? Oh, that's all, McGaffey. You can go now. Thank you. Come on, Skid. Everything under control? Yep. Coast is clear. Mm -hmm. How about the watchman? Don't worry about it. I took care of him. 
Where are the other boys? I'll worry about them. They'll be here in a minute with the truck. You better get over there now and let us in. Right. Why did you wait till now before telling us this? Because McGaffey made Muggs think that he killed Morley. He's using him right now to knock over a job at that silk warehouse on Bridge Street in Second. Mm, we figured if we caught McGaffey red-handed, it'd put Muggs in the clear. I still think you were foolish not to report to us immediately. It's dangerous for that killer to be at large. Well, if we get going right now, Captain, we can round up McGaffey and the whole gang at that warehouse. That is, if he hadn't gotten wise to Muggs and the kids and beat up on them. Johnson, Johnson, get a squad of men ready right away. Yeah, and step on it. Nice haul, ain't it? Yeah, that's all right. All right, boys, let's get busy and load this stuff. Hey, Come want on, to know something? I was coming down a rope today and I burnt my hand. Yeah, that's too bad, kid. I got, uh, want to know something else? I got, uh, 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 Priority on wood. Go find a light switch and turn on a light. Oh, well, I never have any fun. The mugs thinks I'm silly, but when he says I'm going to knock him right in the head, I'm going to light him with a All right, break it up, break it up, break it up, break it up. Ah, man, start talking. If you don't say something pretty soon, I'm going to start to get rough. Look, he killed Morley and he's afraid he's going to get the chair. No, no, I didn't do it. You can't pin this on me. He did it. Yeah, look after he did it. Yeah, that ought to be enough. Nice going, Mug. Eh, it was nothing. I enjoyed working with you on this case. Come on, let's move these carcasses. All right, boys, get them out of here. Well, I don't think we needed any help. We're doing pretty good. Uh, guys, let's go. 